In this video, we'll take a look at how to download the Visual Studio Community for Macintosh computers. Start out by going to our Safari browser and then going to the visualstudio.com website. Once we get to the Visual Studio site, you can see it here at the lower portion of the screen. We've got the Visual Studio IDE icon here, download for Mac. And you can see the various versions, Community, Professional, and Enterprise. Uh, for all of the CIS courses, we recommend Community. So I'll go ahead and click on that button. It's going to ask me to take a survey. I'll go ahead and pass on that. And then we can see here that the download has began from the website. Now, once that download is completed, then we can go ahead and run it by clicking on the actual DMG file that was downloaded. So here we can see is the Visual Studio for Mac installer. We'll go ahead and click then on that download. You can see it has begun the process now of installing the program onto the computer. And so essentially the code that it just installed was what's called the installer. So that's the software now. This window that pops up you can see is the Visual Studio uh, for Mac installer. So we'll go ahead then and click here. That'll begin the process of installing the actual program onto the computer. So once I double click on that icon you can see now it's active down here in the tray. We get a warning box telling us that this software that we're trying to install was downloaded from the internet so if it wasn't we weren't sure that it was safe we might want to cancel at this point but uh, we're pretty sure that Microsoft's not going to give us bad code so we'll go ahead and open that. So now you can see we get the installation screen going to go through all the steps, which can take a bit of time, depending on the uh, amount of RAM on your computer, the speed of your CPU. On the screen that asks about X Xcode, we don't need the Xcode, so we'll go ahead and just continue. So now when we get to this screen, it's asking us what components we want to have installed. So for the CSIS 111B, the Fundamentals of Computer Programming course, you'll want to download at least the .NET Core. But there are some other interesting options that you might want to play around with on here. You have uh, Android, you have iOS, uh, the Mac OS. So the main thing is that we have a check here that uh, is over here on the left for the uh, .NET Core. So once the installation is complete, you go to your applications, you should then see yeah, our purple infinity symbol for Visual Studio Community. I like to put that down on my tray, so I just drag it and drop it down there. Um, but wherever you want to activate it from, it's, it's fine to leave it in the applications window if you want as well. So anyway, to activate it, we just double click on it. You can see it bouncing up and down down here. <laughs> it's loading into memory. And so after a few minutes here, we should see the actual program load and give us the choices of the project that we want to create. 